Hello, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great and I hope you're having an awesome Friday and end of the week. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to share with you a DIY that I did for myself. I didn't know if it was going to work out, but uh, I was just hoping that it would and I am so happy to say that it did work. So I am here to share it with you and I hope this is helpful for you. So if you didn't watch my last video, I reviewed the RCMA No Color Powder and it's like really hyped right now and supposed to be like really awesome setting powder. And I do believe that it's an awesome setting powder, like it really does make your foundation stay in place. But I don't think it's that great for people who have oily combination skin and you know like they get a really oily t-zone I don't think it's the best setting powder at least from how I tasted it on my skin which I do have very oily skin it didn't do that great of a job so um yeah what was my point so I really love that powder because you know it doesn't give me that super dry feeling so I think it will be amazing an amazing powder for those of you who have dry skin and uh, I wanted to make it an awesome powder for those of us who have oily skin actually initially I only wanted to make my RCMA powder like into a pressed powder but when I started making this I thought to myself like how I can make it or what could I do to actually make it last longer without me having to touch up so much or you know so that it would actually keep the t-zone um not so shiny throughout the day so that's when i made this diy and it worked i tested it yesterday all day and uh i went out and everything so i was able to test it really good and i was so impressed by the results but let me stop talking and we're gonna go ahead and get into how i made it and what i used is very simple and also the pictures of like the process throughout the day so this is what you're going to need for uh, this DIY first of all you need any little compact uh, powder container that you may like uh, they're like really fancy ones they're really cute ones I decided to go for this one this is the two-in-one compact foundation and concealer and I just chose this one because it's white and it's just I think it's really slick and nice and also it's very thin and it also has like a little mirror so that I can um, see like when I'm touching up. So I chose this one. This is super inexpensive and I just think it's really cute. So this is the one that I chose and you can find it like basically anywhere. So um, yeah, I chose this one. And then you're also going to need some alcohol. This is just from CVS and it just says 91%. I don't think it really matters what percentage it is because this is going to just like evaporate and it's just going to help you make... Uh, everything and just mix the little paste together so um that's that and then i also use the rimmel london stay matte primer and i don't know if it will work with any other primer this is just the one that i use and this is the one that i know that really works so yeah i used this one and then also you're going to need toothpicks i use toothpicks but you can use anything to mix um everything together but this is just what i used and then you're also going to need um, a glass or the bottom of a wine glass pretty much anything that is going to be about the same size as the space in your little compact so that you can press down and make everything really even you don't really need it uh, you can do it with your hands but I just found that it's um, a lot more even and easier when you do it with something and just apply pressure evenly so um, this is the glass that just fits with my little compact <laughs> And then finally, uh, just a napkin. You scare me! <laughs> if you want like a really pretty pattern on your um, compact, then you just pick a napkin that has like a really pretty pattern. This one is just like dots. So um, this is the one I used. And then of course you're going to need the RCMA powder. And I'm using this one specifically because it has no color and it actually does set your foundation really nicely and it's really inexpensive. If your compact still has product in it, just start off by scraping off all of the product and just make sure you clean it really good with a napkin and just make sure that all of the product is off. Make sure that you do sanitize it, so um, just take some alcohol into a cotton ball, cotton round, and then just make sure that you sanitize your compact really good. And now just pour some of the RCMA powder into your compact, and of course if you just want to test if this works, then don't pour it that much. If I have to like guesstimate, I think I put about two tablespoons of the powder into the compact. At this point, I started adding the alcohol. As you can see, I added one cap at a time and then mixed it. And then I went back if I needed more and added a little bit more alcohol. Don't worry if you add it too much. The alcohol is going to evaporate, so it really doesn't matter. 
The point in this step is just to mix everything and just get the powder to be wet and liquidy. Of course, if you feel like the amount that you started with is not enough, then go ahead and add more powder and more alcohol and just get it to the amount that you are satisfied with. I am now adding the primer. So in total, I would say that I added about three tablespoons of the powder and about one and a half tablespoon of the primer in total. From this point on, just make sure that everything is mixed really, really good. Make sure that primer is mixed really good with the powder and the alcohol. Try to make the mixture as even as possible. And don't worry if it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Just try to even it as much as possible. Place your napkin over the mixture and then just press down with a glass so that the alcohol gets absorbed into the napkin. Just peel it off gently and then place another part of the napkin that is dry and just keep doing it over and over again until the napkin doesn't get really wet. And uh, yeah, just try to absorb as much alcohol as possible and just do it carefully. Finally, if you have any product on the edges, just go ahead and clean it up with a toothpick or if your hands are clean, clean it with your hands or a napkin, whatever you want, just clean it up so that it looks really nice and neat. Now we just have to let it dry so just place a napkin over it and place it somewhere where nobody will touch it. Uh, the napkin is so that no dust gets on it but just let it dry for about 24 hours. This is me the following morning. I'm going to test the powder for the very first time. As you can see it looks really nice and white and sleek. It was obviously a lot easier to apply. I used a lot less powder and it was just so easy and so fast. I did put the compact in my purse and it didn't crack, it didn't shatter, it was completely fine. So, so far so good. I didn't notice any changes as far as the RCMA powder, like it was still with no color, it still went on really flawless. It didn't look like I applied like a ton of powder like, you know, other powders have that consistency. So it was still really nice, still really fine, still uh, looked really awesome. And also I did not apply any primer uh, under my foundation. So this uh, testing is without any additional primer on my face. And now let's see the pictures of how I did throughout the day. I did take flash and no flash uh, pictures. Oh, and also if you see a difference in color from uh, the pictures, that's because I took them in different types of lighting. But I think you can still see um, whether it's oily or not. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I took all of the pictures in pretty much like really different lightings. Of the DIY on the left with absolutely no retouches throughout the entire day and the picture on the right is of the RCMA powder on its own with retouches after three hours. So uh, yeah I really love it as you can see on the pictures it really does uh, make a difference and throughout the entire time that I wore it like after the five hours up to until I took it off which was I think like nine hours in total my skin did not look or feel oily whatsoever it just had this really dewy look but it wasn't like um, that oily look that I really hate because trust me whenever my skin gets really oily I just start like wiping it off <laughs> if I don't have like a setting powder I just I just feel like I need to wipe it off but with this powder I didn't really feel the need to do that at all and, and I don't know it just gave me like a really nice dewy look but if you want to keep the uh, look completely matte then of course you can retouch after five hours which is like a huge difference the RCMA powder after three hours my skin was oily but with the, uh, the DIY after five hours my skin was dewy it wasn't oily it was just dewy so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for always supporting my channel and I will see you in my next video take care